in this video, you are going to learn on how to write down the rate law and also the integrated rate law for zero first and second order reaction and also plotting graph. So let's say if you have a reactant A producing products, if A is a zero order, the rate law is rate is equals to K concentration of A to the power of zero or rate is equals to K. From the rate law, you can determine the units of K. So as you know, the units of K for each order of reaction are different. Okay. So from the units of K, you also can determine the order of reaction. So let's say if we put the rate here, the units for rate here is in molar per second. Okay, so we know that the rate is molar per time. So let's say the time here is in second, right? So the units of K will become molar per second because rate is equals to K. To plot a graph of rate versus concentration of A, right? So since rate is equals to K, K is constant, you will get a constant graph. What would happen if you double the concentration of A? Since the rate here is independent to the concentration of A, also we have a constant graph here. So if you double the concentration of A, rate does not. The integrated rate equation or integrated rate law for the zero order reaction is concentration of A0 minus concentration of A equals to KT. The not here means the initial concentration while this concentration is the concentration, concentration at that time which is T. To plot a linear graph for the zero order reaction Right, so we are going to rearrange this equation as concentration of A equals to negative KT plus concentration of A0 where our Y axis is concentration of A. Right, the concentration A0 will become our Y intercept. So the gradient is equals to negative K. So you are going to get a linear graph with a negative slope. So from, from this graph, you can find the value of k, right? So the gradient is equals to negative k. So to find the value of k, k is equals to negative gradient, right? So if the question asks you to determine the order of reaction by using a linear graph method. If you plot this graph and you get a straight line graph with negative slope, it means that the reaction that you have is a zero order reaction. So the concentration of A versus time graph also tells you the half-life of the reaction. Here is the concentration of A0 over 2, the half of the initial concentration. You will get the first T half, the first half-life. And then, divided it by 2 again, you will get the second half-life. So as you can see here, for the zero-order reaction, the first T-half is about 2 times of the second T-half. Also, you can find the, the half-life value from the formula. Right For the zero-order reaction, okay, so at T half, the concentration of A is actually equals to initial concentration over 2. So substitute this into the integrated rate equation. Now the T here will become the T half. Right, so the concentration of A0 over 2 is equals to K T half. So T half is equals to concentration of A0 over 2 K. So you can use this formula to find the t-half for the zero-order reaction. If the reaction is first order with respect to concentration of A, the rate law is written as rate is equals to K concentration of A to the power of 1. So from here, to find the units of K, right? So let's say, the units for rate here, also, uh, we use the molar per second. 
is equals to K. Concentration of A is also in molar. So K is equal to molar per second over molar. You will get per second. If you have the units for K per time, it means that the reaction is first order reaction. To plot the graph of rate versus concentration of A for the first order reaction, so rate is our y axis, right? A is our x axis. So we can see here y is equals to mx. So the graph is linear and there is no y intercept. So the graph will start from zero. If you double the concentration, concentration of A becomes 2A, right? Substitute it into the rate law. You will get rate is equals to K concentration of 2A. So 2, power, 2 to the power of 1 is still 2, right? So take this 2 out. You will get rate is equals to 2K concentration of A, where the K concentration of A is our rate so as you can see here the rate will become double if you double the concentration for the first order reaction or you can write it as the rate will increase two times the integrated rate equation for the first order reaction is written as ln concentration of a naught minus ln a equals to kt or you can write it down as ln concentration of A0 over A equals to KT. To plot a linear graph for the first order reaction, so rearrange this equation as ln A equals to negative KT plus ln A0. We will, get, we will have ln A as our y axis, right? Mx plus C graph. So again, it is a linear graph with a negative slope. Ln A0 will become our y-intercept. The y-intercept here is the ln A0. And also, you can find the value of k because the gradient is equals to negative k. So, k is equals to negative gradient. So, if the question asks you to determine the order of reaction by using a linear graph, when you plot the graph of ln concentration of A versus time, you get a straight line graph like this. It means that the reaction is first order reaction. If not, then it is not a first order reaction. If you plot the graph of concentration of A versus time for the first order reaction, right, you will get a graph like this, where from this graph, here is our initial concentration. Half of it, you will have the first half-life. And if you divide it again by 2, you will get the second half-life. As you can see, for the first order reaction, the first and second T-half is about the same. So, if you plot graph of concentration of A versus time, right, and you get this kind of, this kind of graph, Find the first and the second half-life and compare it. If you have the value is about the same, it means that the reaction is first order reaction. You can also find the half-life value for the first order reaction by using a formula. So at T half, the concentration of A actually is equal to the initial concentration of A over 2. So substitute this into this formula. You will get non concentration of A0 over concentration of A0 over 2 is equals to KT half. So, T half is equals to ln 2 over K. As you can see, there is no concentration but there is no concentration in the formula. So, that's why the half-life for the first order reaction is independent with the concentration. If the reaction is second order with respect to the concentration of A, the rate law is written as rate is equals to K concentration of A to the power of 2. To find the units of K, so rate, the units of rate is molar per second. So let's say the units of rate is molar per second equals to K 
concentration of A is also molar to the power of 2. So, K is equals to molar per second over molar to the power of 2. So, we will have per molar per second. By plotting the graph of rate versus concentration of A, right? So, rate is Y axis is equals to MX square. You will have a positive quadratic graph. But if you plot the graph rate versus concentration of A to the power of 2, you will have a graph of Y is equal to MX, a linear graph starting from 0. The integrated rate equation for the second order reaction is 1 over is 1 over concentration of A minus 1 over concentration of A naught equals to KT. To plot a linear graph for the second order reaction, right? So we are going to rearrange this equation so that we have 1 over A as our y axis, T as our x axis, right? So the gradient is our K plus C. So a linear graph with a positive slope where gradient is equals to K. Right, so if you plot the graph of 1 over concentration of A versus time and you get a straight line graph, it means that the, rea the reaction is a second order reaction. If you want to plot the graph of concentration of A versus time for the second order reaction, you will get a graph like this, where this is our concentration initial. So half of it, Right, so the concentration of A0 over 2, you will get the first T half. And then if you divide it by 2 again, you will get your second T half. So as you can see, the second T half is 2 times the first T half. As usual, you can calculate the T half from the formula. So at T half, concentration of A is actually equals to concentration of initial over 2. So substitute it into the integrated rate equation. You will get 1 over concentration of A0 over 2 minus 1 over concentration of A0 equals to K T half. Rearrange the equation, we get T half is equals to 1 over K concentration of A not for the second order reaction.